Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, you have to find the items that exist only once in an array. For example, there would be an array, okay, there would be duplicate items in that array and you have to eliminate all those duplicate items, okay, and you have to just find the items that are present in an array which is existing only once. So I have a question, okay, of const array. In const array, I am having an array of values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and in this array 3 and 2 is getting duplicated or repeated. So in the output, the expected output is 1, 4 and 5 and we have to eliminate the duplicate items 2 and 3. So how we can achieve that? So please try from your end and see how we are getting to the expected output. So let's try from our end and see how we are uh, able to get the expected output. So I have this particular script that is uh, present in the test.js file and this particular script I am calling in the index.html. Uh, I am having the script over here. So let me run this. So now it is up and running. So fine, okay. So now it's up and running and I am just taking the console over here. So the console is also ready now. So okay, let's see now. Okay, so first uh, this is our question const array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 3 and 2. So for uh, achieving on the expected output, I am going to use uh, three array uh, prototype properties. The first one is the filter property, filter method and then I am going to use the index of method and finally I am going to use the last index of method. So what does this uh, filter method do, does, okay? So filter method actually creates a shallow copy of the uh, given array, okay, of a portion of the given array. Why we are saying a portion of the given array? Because there will be some conditions uh, in the callback function, okay, within the uh, filter method and only those items would be present in the uh, shallow copied array uh, that passes that uh, test that is implemented by the provided function, okay. So uh, it will be creating a shallow copy of the given array of a portion of the given array and filtered down to elements that pass the test implemented by the provided function. And uh, what is a shallow copy? A shallow copy of an object is a copy whose properties will be sharing the same references, okay. So it will be having the same references which means that it all points to the same uh, values within the memory stack, okay. So that is what a shallow copy means. Now I will be using the index of property, okay, that is available in the arrow, uh, array prototype which means that uh, the index of method will be returning the first index at which a given element can be found in the array and if it is not there then it will be returning minus 1. Similarly, I will be using the last index of which uh, returns the last index at which a given element can be found in the array, okay. If it is not there, it will be returning minus 1 as it is uh, like uh, index of. And in this case actually the array will be searched backwards starting at the from index. So uh, we will see how we can actually do this uh, to achieve the expected output. So what I mean by uh, filtering is, okay, so what I will do is I will be filtering, okay, and it will create a new array. In this array, so array dot filter, in the array dot filter, I will be passing, it will be, it is expecting a callback function, okay, function uh, v. Uh, what uh, this function will be doing, in this function actually we will be having all the uh, uh, array elements will be there. So within that what we will do, we will try to return, okay, uh, we, it is a condition, it is a condition where we have to match something. So v dot index of uh, array dot index of, so that will be uh, v, okay. So what it does is, if uh, the index of v, okay, it matches with the last index, so last index uh, if it is matching what does it mean? from backward and from the uh, front uh, front side, right, from the starting and the, from the back backwards. If it is both are same, that means that is pointing to the same uh, element, okay. So in that case, we can say that that is existing only once, right. So from the uh, starting uh, index and from the last index, if it is both are actually having the same value, that both the index are of the same value, that means it is pointing to the same function, 
okay so array dot last index of b okay so you got the idea right so filter is expecting a condition okay it is a callback function and uh, this is a test if the uh, it will return all the elements that is passing this particular test in the test what we are trying to do in the index of v so if say for example uh, uh, index of 2 is uh, 1 okay and the last index of 2 is uh, how many elements are there 5 7 right so uh, the last index is 6 so uh, 6 and uh, 1 is not the same so it will uh, it will not uh, return that particular value so whenever it is returning that value say for example 1 okay index of 1 is uh, 0 and the last index of 1 is 0 that means uh, it is existing only once right similarly uh, if i take uh, 4 okay the index of 4 is uh, 0 1 2 and 3 and the last index of 4 is the same 3 right so in that case what happens if it is same that means it is existing only once so let me print this okay therefore confirming the result okay so let me refresh this so you can see this is the expected output 145 so that is the way it works so let me uh, try to debug it once so uh, for uh, more understanding okay so if i refresh this so you can see here right uh, v is 1 and array dot index of 1 is so in the console we can able to get so that is 0 similarly uh, array dot index of last index of 1 will also be 0 so that that is the way how it works actually so you can see here right so for the uh, items that exist only once index of and last index of would be uh, same so that is the uh, idea behind this particular uh, uh, question okay so th that way we can actually find items that exist only once in an array so this is uh, with a normal function you can also use uh, arrow function for this so let me try that also once so if it is an arrow function in one line itself you can actually uh, write that right so okay so that's it now what it will do index of v okay so now it uh, here also it should be having the same value okay so let me remove that uh, debug point okay let me refresh this let me remove the debug point and uh, refresh this right okay so right now also you can see the expected output index of is not defined okay so okay so here actually when we were okay. so this way we can do that okay so i think i have saved this and if i refresh that you will be getting the same answer okay one four five so that way you can actually do that okay so this is the way it works and i hope you got an idea how filter index of and last index of uh, helps in finding items that exist only once in an array. So that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.